So as of last week, the Republican health care proposal went down in flames. Now, this was a huge victory to anyone who simply believed that more people should have health care. Uh, however, this doesn't change the fact that the Affordable Care Act is still broken. It still needs to be reformed. I mean, insurance premiums are still rising. The cost of prescription drugs is exploding. So we still have to do something to fix the Affordable Care Act because it was moderate health care reform. What we really have to do is move towards a single-payer system. Now, Bernie Sanders is now swooping in and capitalizing on this opportunity to push for a single-payer health care system. There is one major country on Earth that does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. It's the United States. And that country, our country, ends up spending almost double what the Canadians do, almost triple what the British do, far more than the French Scandinavians do. Now, why is it that we spend far, far more and get less? Our health care outcomes in many respects are not as good as many of these other countries. Why is it? Well, Mike hit it right on, you know, hit the nail on the head. It's, of course, the power of the insurance companies. For them, their goal is not to provide quality, cost-effective health care. It's to make as much money as they possibly can out of human suffering. Same thing for the drug companies. We have not had it. Mike is exactly right again. This is not just a Republican problem. It is a Democratic problem. Neither party has had the guts to stand up to the insurance companies and do what I think we need to do and legislation that I will offer. A Medicare for all single payer program. Medicare is a very popular program right now. It is a lifesaver when you get to 65. Let's expand it to everybody. We could save hundreds of billions of dollars in administrative costs, take on the drug companies. Companies. That is, Mike, in my view, the direction we have got to go. The yeah. problem is obviously members of Congress, in many cases, don't have the guts to take them yeah, on. Yeah, but Medicare has only worked for 50 years. We have to give it some more time to see if it really works. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick. So this really is the best time. If you're going to push single payer, now is the time to do it because the Republican Party's shown that one, they can't even cultivate the votes to repeal the Affordable Care Act after this is what they've been saying they would do as soon as they take office for seven years. And furthermore, their proposal failed. And you can't just move on. Healthcare still has to be fixed. So this is an opportune time to really speak out and say, look, now is the time that we once and for all move towards a single payer system where every single American is covered and nobody dies or goes bankrupt because they can't afford to be ripped off by the health insurance industry. Now, the Huffington Post explains in the wake of the Republican failure to repeal the Affordable Care Act on Friday, leading figures in the progressive wing of the Democratic Party are rallying behind a single payer health insurance and a draft of other bold reforms. These lawmakers and grassroots leaders have long believed that the problems plaguing the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, are rooted in the original health care law's attempt to accommodate rather than gradually replace the private or for-profit health insurance system. And this is exactly it. What the Affordable Care Act was, was conservative health care reform that was created by the Heritage Foundation. It's reform that relies exclusively on the private insurance industry. And when you have insurance companies who have a profit to be made, they're not going to prioritize health care. So, so long as you have a system where health insurance companies can rip people off, you will never have adequate health care. People will still go bankrupt. People will still die even if they have health insurance coverage. So, what they're doing now, what Bernie Sanders and other Democrats and some Democrats are doing is they are introducing Bill H.R. 676, which is sponsored by Representative John Conyers, called the Expanded and Improved Medicare for All Act, and it is being co-sponsored by the likes of Tulsi Gabbard, Keith Ellison, Raul Grijalva, John Lewis, Elijah Cummings, and Pramila J. Pal, to name a few. Now, what I would like everyone to do is search for their representative, do a control F, put your representative's name here, and if their name doesn't show up on this list, then you need to call them immediately and urge them to support HR 676. Another thing you can do is go to justicedemocrats.com and sign their petition, which I will link to, which basically demands that all Democrats support this initiative. Now, here's the thing about this bill. Uh, this is what a majority of Americans are in favor of. When you look at public opinion polls, a majority of Americans support a single-payer Medicare for All system. So I don't care if your representative is a Democrat or a Republican. 
You have to be on the side of the American people. You have to stop being a coward and actually stand up to the private insurance industry. And the way that we make them do this is we put pressure on them publicly. Now, thankfully, you guys are one step ahead of me because grassroots activists have been flooding their representatives with calls across the country. Uh, members of the Democratic Party are talking about this, but what we have to do is do it more. Do it every single day. Call them at least once or twice per day and let them know that they must support this or they will be primaried because this is a no-brainer. What Everyone in the Democratic Party needs to be doing right now, and I'm talking about the establishment Democrats, is question whether or not they're going to allow their constituents to continue to die because they're too afraid to take on the health insurance industry. And if they are, then we all know what should happen. They should be primaried and kicked out of office because they don't represent their constituents, and that's no longer acceptable. So we are all watching, and Bernie Sanders and these Democrats are actually courageous they're doing something that will save lives. And this will also stimulate the economy because if we have more money every single month, we don't have to pay these outrageous prices and healthcare premiums, well, then we can put that money back in the economy. So this is a win-win for everyone with the exception of the health insurance industry. But I don't care about them. I don't care about the existence of this industry that serves to uh, make their CEOs a profit. What I care about is getting the American people coverage. And this is what the Democratic and Republican parties should care about. And if they don't, they go bye-bye. So please, call them. Do everything you can to put pressure on them because now is the time to act. Will this bill pass while we have a Republican-controlled Congress? Of course it won't. But if we get the Democratic Party to rally around single pair and they make this the defining issue, then... This will be a good thing for the electorate. It'll be a good thing for the American people. Because I don't care who passes single pair, Republicans, Democrats, if Satan himself manifests in Congress and passes this bill, I don't care. I want people to have health care coverage. It doesn't matter who you are, how old you are. Everyone should have coverage. This is what other modern industrialized countries do, and it's time we join them. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.